Hi, it's uh, Dr. Dina Churchill, Innovator of Health. Every time I say that in public or wear a white coat, I seem to get credentials or posts, uh, comments or posts about my credentials. So I think I'll just put them out there uh, right now uh, on the chopping block. But uh, I'm a doctor of chiropractic. Uh, thanks, Robert, for watching. And I have a Bachelor of Science in, um, from Memorial University in Newfoundland. My chiropractic degree was from a Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College in Toronto. And then I studied acupuncture and um, Chinese medicine at a hospital just outside Beijing, so Siyuan Hospital. And I've really self-studied with nutritionists, naturopaths, energy workers, shamanic healers uh, over the last three years. And um, for those friends who are into astrology, my sun and moon are in my sixth house. So really, you know, I was born to bring enlightenment uh, in those areas. So those are my credentials. Now, I did retire, though, from chiropractic uh, earlier than anticipated because I was um, limited in what I could say. Uh, bringing health truths to the population, in particular, my views on the dangers of vaccines. So I'm no longer practicing chiropractic, but now I feel like maybe I'm adjusting with my words instead of my hands. So again, thanks for being here. This is part of my service. The coronavirus. So I guess this is like a bear commercial, really. Coronavirus. I mean, it's scary, right? Ebola, polio, the pig flu, the bird flu, the weasel flu. I mean, there's always going to be these viruses that are out there floating around. They're creating kind of hysteria and fear in our population the more we talk about it. I almost feel like those who are ignorant uh, to the process, you know, to the greater agenda um, and are sort of ignorant blissfully, have a better state of mental health at this moment. Because <laughs> those of us who are looking at the bigger picture, you know, can drive ourselves a little crazy. And it creates stress not only in the person teaching about these hidden agendas, but also in those who you're teaching. So it creates what psychologists call cognitive dissonance. Cognitive means your brain and how you're thinking. Dissonance, opposite of resonance, so incongruency in your thinking based on your beliefs. So this video, I would like to focus on solutions. I mean, what can we do? Regardless if you think how the vaccine, or, you know, how this virus sort of came forward, there's some people believe that it's you know, part of biological warfare, that these, vac these viruses are created in the lab and are spread through our population, either intentionally or not, uh, through the vaccine or through an animal. And then there's other people that just think Chinese people are eating you know, bats, cats, and rats and getting sick. So regardless of where you think the viruses came from, um, we're gonna look at how we can move through it and some solutions. If you have any questions as we're going along, I'll check periodically. Hi, Gail, Cheryl, Michelle, Michael. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Athena. And um, I'll check periodically if you have a question, uh, I'll come back to it. So we're gonna look at solutions. So the coronavirus, I think the media says like 26 people have died from the coronavirus. That could be a lie because the media is really the mouthpiece for these you know, big pharmaceutical companies and the rulers of our planet. So you have to take that with a grain of salt. But if there is 26 cases, I mean, that's minimal really, thinking 26 people last year probably died of the HPV vaccine, right? And most of these people are older people whose immune systems are suppressed and they're just waiting for a virus to take them out anyway. So we're not really getting the full details. So let's just kind of put that aside and we'll look at, again, solutions. Um, or plan of management, that's gonna be the same regardless if it's the corona, Ebola, because this is the other thing, Ebola, right? This Ebola vaccine was approved by the FDA December 2019, so a month ago. So this Ebola vaccine is sitting there <laughs> in the pipes and they've spent billions, of, well, maybe millions of dollars developing this Ebola vaccine. So my prediction is that there's gonna be an Ebola outbreak somewhere. In fact, I thought it would come before this coronavirus. But uh, again, my point is that there's going to be viruses present, measles, you know, mumps, Ebola, uh, corona, and really the solution is the same. It's supporting your own uh, immunity, your own natural immunity, and, um, you know, empowering yourself to health. So uh, thank you. Hi, Ursula. Great to see you. Oh, glad you're here with me, Sarah. Um, I was thinking about speaking these days. Oh, thanks for speaking. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. So uh, I thought what I would do today is really just show you what I do to support my immune system and what I do to support my health. 
and that may be helpful for you. Um, and I'll share my resources of why I do these things and why I do all these things. Uh, I'll talk about it. If you're watching this now on Facebook Live, you'll see it in the links. If you might be watching this later on YouTube or another uh, social media, then uh, you can visit my blog or I'll give you the actual links. So the first thing is a vitamin C. This is really important. I take vitamin C crystals and I do about 5,000 milligrams a day. It'll be different for different people, but the resource I'd like to point out for that one is Andrew Saul, S-A-U-L, Andrew Saul. And he has a YouTube video and I think it's called um, High Doses of Vitamin C for Major Diseases. So you need a lot more than what you think. Uh, and if you have a disease, like my mom was diagnosed with cancer last year, so she was having vitamin C injections, right, into your bloodstream because you'll need a higher dose than what you can take orally. Or if you have a virus, if you have the coronavirus or Ebola or whatever, you're gonna need vitamin C injections. So we see Dr. Brian Raid, who's a naturopath, who does these injections here locally in Halifax, but pair up with a naturopath who does that so you can be proactive and you can have that in place. Um, so the vitamin C, vitamin D is something else I take, vitamin D3, and I take a, a 10,000 international units, and this is D3 with K2. This is Dr. Wayne Garland's vitamin D, and I had him on a radio show years ago, and he said, you know, vitamin D protects against 80% of cancers, right? It's the God vitamin, it comes from the sun. But uh, living here in North America right now in the winter, we're not getting much sun. So if we're lying in the sun for 20 minutes naked on either side, we'd get about you know, 20,000 international units. So I take 10,000 international units of vitamin D. And then I do a product that was introduced to me by David Wolf, and this is called a Carbon 60, David Wolf, uh, the avocado guy. And Carbon 60 is a fullerene. I was going to say Wolverine. <laughs> no, David Wolf, and it's a fullerene compound, and it's a carbon compound. It's kind of like activated charcoal. You know, you give activated charcoal if you're poisoned, right? Well, this is like activated charcoal on steroids. It's kind of a, a matrix that engulfs the toxin and takes it out of your system. So I do that intermittently. And then I do diachromaceous earth. So this is something I just found out about recently. And uh, it, these are really like million year old organisms that are fossilized, it's a powder. And you can get this at the health food store. Again, these things are inexpensive. This is the first thing, when I start recommending things, people say, oh, I can't afford that. Well, I don't know, these vitamin C crystals, um, they don't have a price on them, but it's probably like $11. And this dichromaceous earth, $9.99. So they're inexpensive and ways that you can really support your health. But the diachromaceous earth, again, helps uh, detoxify your body, bacteria, viruses, heavy metals. Uh, the TRS, this is an, a new supplement that I've just started after talking with a um, father who has a son who is autistic and it's really a heavy metal removal system. So it's um, a nanoparticle of something called zeolite, which works by a magnetic principle of capturing heavy metals and taking it out of your body. So there's a lot of people talking about this right now. I just uh, consulted with our naturopath and my mom because she had chemotherapy, right? There's gonna be a lot of heavy metals in her body from that, we're gonna do that too. So um, autistic kids, if you've been exposed to heavy metals, I had like mercury fillings and I had vaccines as a kid. Before I studied acupuncture in China, you know, when I was in my late, uh, early 20s, I even had the hepatitis B or I couldn't go overseas. So I'm still detoxing uh, from that myself. And then I do uh, a multivitamin and mineral. I also do some immune support supplements. So this one's from Adiva Health, Immune Detox is called. It has astragalus, milk thistle, uh, endo-3 carbonyl, and reishi mushroom extract. And uh, the Evolve from Evolve Company, Evolve Balance, has Ace Manin, which is the active ingredient of aloe vera. So these are all natural products that really help support your immune system naturally. And you can feel confident, not just against the coronavirus, but it helps protect against cancers, right? Because cancer is really, your immune system is not working properly and it allows for overgrowth. So doing this is just a great health practice, but it's also a way to put your fear into inspired action. Uh, what else do I do? I made a list so I wouldn't forget. Um, so I try to eat organic and local. Why is that? Because the genetically modified foods are sprayed with toxins. So a toxin called glyphosate, which is the active ingredient of Roundup. 
And this is a water-soluble poison that goes into the soil and it's sucked up into the plant. So you can't wash the poison off. When you eat the plant, you're eating the poison. It was first patented as an antibiotic, so anti meaning against biotic life, it wipes out your natural flora, your natural bacteria, and your gut is really 80% of your, 80 to 90% of your immune system is it happens in your gut. So you need a healthy gut to have a healthy immune system. So avoiding the genetically modified foods is really important. And in Canada, they don't have to label when it's genetically modified. Modified. So when you're shopping, you really need to look for something that says non-GMO uh, to be safe. And then I take this product. This is a local lady, uh, Linda Pierce. I love you for this. Uh, the coconut um, cultured coconut, and this is just what it is: fermented coconut in a liquid. But this, in a tablespoon full, has. Uh, three billion, three or four billion CFUs, colon forming units of bacteria, natural bacteria, and it also has uh, 50 different strands of bacteria. And it's a natural way to take it, right? It tastes great. It's like a coconut yogurt almost, and I have that every morning, again, to help kind of replenish uh, my system. So the probiotics. I don't take medications. I haven't taken a medication in well, at least 25 years, and the last vaccine I had was just before I studied acupuncture they wouldn't allow me to go and play with the blood products of acupuncture unless I had these vaccines so I had that one but uh, you know the hepatitis B vaccine I can feel you know that's when I started to have kind of joint aches and pains after that so um, again I'm detoxing too because I need it for myself and then I have regular chiropractic, because chiropractic is so important. I mean, even though I'm not a chiropractor right now, I love chiropractic, because your brain and your spinal cord, your central nervous system, is really what controls your immune system. It controls all the body processes. So if your nervous system's not healthy, your immune system's not healthy. Regular chiropractic, good sleep, and nights that I can't sleep because the weight of the world is leaning on my head, uh, I would uh, take some natural CBD oil, uh, which is an organic product that I get from a local lady. And I also have Sage, this is one of the oils, Sleep Well, essential oils that I put on and wear at night. One sniff and you're out like light. <laughs> that was for you, Rosanna. Uh, but uh, I've also done a YouTube video on essential oils that I talk about it into kind of a more ancient paradigm, comparing it to the uh, Eye of Horus and kind of weird things. So if you want more information on the essential oils, go to my YouTube channel, Dina Churchill, and you can watch that. But basically, this is the blood of the plant that's been squeezed out. So the neurotransmitters, the hormones, the antioxidants that keep the plant alive and well, and that will heal the plant if it's injured, can do the same process for you in, in a way of what they call homeostatic intelligence. So if your blood sugar is too high, for example, cinnamon can bring it down. But if your blood sugar is too low, cinnamon oil can bring it up. It's also cinnamon oil is also great for the immune system and the oregano oil and all these other things. They're natural things that are in our environment that can help uh, with viruses in supporting your immune system. Regular chiropractic, good rest, fasting and cleansing. So I had supper on Sunday evening uh, with the family, and then I didn't eat it all yesterday. And this morning I just had a shake and my eggnog, which is a couple of eggs, coconut milk, some Himalayan sea salt. Himalayan salt is great, by the way, because it has trace minerals, 84 trace minerals. So get rid of the table salt uh, because that dehydrates your body. And the Himalayan salt actually brings trace minerals and uh, helps rehydrate your body. And then a little bit of cinnamon I had in it and some... Um, da -da 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 vanilla and then I shake it up. So that's what I've had to eat today and I'll probably have food tonight. So this is kind of like a 45 hour fast. Normally I don't do that, but uh, maybe once a month I would do a longer fast if I feel particularly stressed or like my body needs to heal. But on a daily basis, it's good to fast. So if you have supper that night, uh, then if you can wait until like dinner the next day before you eat, at least you give your body like 12 or 15 hours to cleanse. Because if we're continually stuffing and puffing with you know, carbohydrates and sugars, it creates inflammation in our body. It, it toxifies our liver and we don't have a chance to heal. So if you can just give yourself a break from food, your body uses that energy then to devote into healing. So intermittent fasting I love. Jason Fung is a resource for that, F-U-N-G. And he talks about even reversing uh, diabetes. Uh, with intermittent fasting and diet. So um, intermittent fasting cleansing is important. So I do a bigger fast once a month, but on a daily basis, I try to, to fast and allow my body time to heal in between. Gives you energy, decreases inflammation and pain, and um, 
again, it helps your immune system. And then probably once a year, I'll do a, a candida cleanse, cleansing your body of yeast or a parasitic cleanse of parasites, because again, that reduces the stress on your immune system. And then the genius biofeedback is another thing. So when I found out my mom had cancer uh, a year, a year and a half ago, I looked at all the things that I could do to help support her in her journey. And she chose to sort of do a um, more conventional approach in addition to her naturopath. But I wanted to um, do whatever I could. So I purchased this system called the genius system and I've been studying it for about a year and a half. And it's a biofeedback system. It works on an energetic principle or quantum healing. Uh, so it takes a scan of your voice, takes a voice print, a scan of your um, picture, and then it will analyze your body's energy and, and kind of give you a printout. And then you can feed back in the energies that you need into your body via tones. So it's kind of like a biofeedback. It also has ways that we can identify if it showed up virus, for example, we can identify maybe which virus or which energetic print uh, might be more similar. And then we can cross reference it, if you will, with uh, some homeopathic remedies or some um, essential oils. Uh, it shows up food sensitivities. Uh, digestion, brain anatomy, uh, organ sensitivities, infections, chemical sensitivities, you know, a lot of things. So I love this and I really didn't believe it <laughs> at first. I mean, I purchased it, but I really didn't believe it worked. But now that I've done it on, you know, every family member and every friend <laughs> and some other people, and I do it on myself every day, I really have a value the system and understand that, you know, everything happens at a vibrational level first, and then it's manifested into a physical form. So so, um, you know, my magnesium can show up low here, for example, and I can do the tones, listen to the tones for a few days, and it levels out my magnesium levels. Uh, it's kind of one example. But the genius system. So uh, not only to help our immune system, but if somebody has a condition, for example, uh, my mom with cancer, uh, I would do it on a daily basis for kind of just checking her levels and vibration. And uh, I can give you information on that. Uh, if you're interested uh, in looking at the system. They also offer like a two week free um, assessment that you can download so you can try it on yourself. So if that's something that interests you or if you're suffering right now with a condition and you want uh, another option or something that you can do at home, uh, you can send me an email and ask me about it, the genius system. I try to do something every day that I love. Yesterday it was belly dancing tea with a uh, great friend, Deanna, and we talked about spiritual matters and we talked about astrology and things that caters to my heart. Because when you're doing things you love, you adopt that vibration, right? It's like time and space stops and you're in this timeless, spaceless zone when you're really doing something that you love. Um, and giving an inspired service. So if that's you know volunteering at your community church, or if it's helping at a friend's visitation uh, for her mother who's passed, or if it's here speaking on um, Facebook Live, and when you're giving an inspired service and you know catering to a greater good of humanity, you're given the resources and health to do it. So having an inspired service is really part of uh, creating health and abundance for yourself doing what you love, surrounding yourself with goodness, right? Surrounding yourself. Uh, the article that I, I write in my blog, it's called healthtruth.blog, and the article is titled Raising Your Vibration. And you can just type it in the search bar, but I talk about this, surrounding yourself with the vibration, you become it, you adopt it. Um, Albert Einstein talks about that too. So when you're around inspired people, you take on that vibration. Of course, the reverse is also true, right? If you continually submerge yourself in the dark agendas of the world, you become it. You become it. So yesterday, you will notice, if you scroll down my Facebook page, I didn't answer one email on vaccines. I didn't connect with any of the, I don't know, dozen groups that I'm a part of. I didn't even answer anyone that talked about vaccines or, um, you know, vaccine dangers. I talked about belly dancing. I talked about salsa dancing. I talked about enhancing your immune system because this is where I needed to go for myself, right? You need to balance your own brain in order to have a healthy immune system. So, and for men, it's important to exercise. 
right? That physical exercise. Michael Hall, who's a great chiropractor, highly recommend his courses on neurology. He says, if you give a man a chair, he'll destroy his family unit first, then the community, and then the world. Because men need to exercise to balance their brain. Exercise is important for women, but women also need that social interaction. That stimulates your vagus nerve. That helps keep us balanced. So in this age of technology, it's easy to stay home and do all that you need to do. You're shopping, you're socializing, everything on your media, but it's not good for your immune system not only the non-social part, but also the radiation, right? The cellular radiation, 5G technology is something that I talk about in an article on my blog that you can read about too, but the radiation is really not good for you. So ladies, get out there, dance. Dance is great for your brain. And uh, men, you know, get to the gym, exercise, do whatever you can to keep your brain balanced because that affects your immune system. And then where do I want to go from there? I wanted to talk about uh, Dane Donahue, who's a chiropractor. So if you quote, uh, you know, this quote anywhere, you know, make sure you give him credit, Dane Donahue. But he says, you can't medicate yourself out of a problem you've behaved your way into. I'm going to repeat that because it's good, yeah? You can't medicate yourself out of a problem you've behaved your way into. So if you have a sugar issue right now or diabetes, you're probably eating too many carbohydrates. You change your diet, you'll see a difference in your sugar. Adding insulin to your blood is not really a solution for type 2 diabetes. Again, Jason Fung will talk about that but it really uh, makes the problem worse. So you can't medicate yourself out of a problem you've behaved your way into. So right now we're gonna look at behaving our way into a healthy, natural immune system, right? And um, an antiviral medication, for example, that I guarantee <laughs> will be on the market soon because you know the drug companies make a lot of money from these viral scares, right? If it's not coming in a vaccine, it'll be coming in medications. So and know that you have an option to that antiviral medication it's all these things that I've just talked about here, right? This is how you make yourself healthy. And Andrew Saul talks about even uh, curing, uh, you know, major diseases with just high doses of intravenous vitamin C. So again, know you have an option. Uh, remove the obstacles. So I talked about, you can't medicate yourself. So yeah, and a cell biologist, um, Bruce Lipton talks about this, epigenetics. Epi means above genetics, meaning that what we surround ourselves with, our thoughts, our environment, our foods, our air, our water, uh, and I filter my water too because the fluorine and chloride, again, are neurotoxic. But um, you know what we surround ourselves with turn on and off gene expression. So Bruce Lipton's uh, Biology of Belief, I think was the book that I'd referenced there, but uh, the importance of epigenetics. So this is what we're doing right now, right? We're looking at what we can do to enhance our natural immunity and uh, really affect even our gene expression and our health destiny. So no longer are we disempowered, having to be victims of our gene or victims of our circumstance. Oh, I got a virus. Now you know what to do. So when we remove the obstacles, our body defaults to health. What are obstacles? Obstacles can be chemicals, right? Sprayed into the air. Right, we all know about the geoengineering. Um, they can be injected into our foods genetically modified foods, glyphosate's one in particular. They can be in our vaccines, right? Heavy metals, glyphosate, aborted fetal cells, all sorts of crazy things. These are obstacles to health. So I know you've been fed the story that, you know, you need to take injected chemicals to keep your body healthy, but it was a lie. It was a lie in order for them to make money, right? The pharmaceutical companies make big profit by selling you that lie. But the truth is, your body has the ability to heal itself. It has since we've been put on the planet. So um, tap into that kind of natural immunity and natural wisdom, and you trust in that is when your body heals. But these, these fear tactics, and I'm just as guilty, because you know, if you scroll down my page, you'll see I talked about coronavirus a lot, but this is scaring the population into being immobilized. What we're trying to do is uh, empower you to greater levels of health and service. On my blog, healthtruth.blog, the last article I wrote was on mandatory policies. Now, you'll see that it's not just about vaccines. They are trying to mandate smart meters, which are, you know, uh, let's say radiation surveillance um, boxes that are attached to your home. So if you haven't opted out, go to InPower, uh, and I can post that link, or somebody else can post that link, but these are, um, they're trying to make these mandatory, and just opt out. 
you don't have to. Your initial contract was with uh, the company for the meter you have. You don't need extra radiation in your house. But they're trying to mandate smart meters. They're trying to mandate vaccines, right? Come, you can't go to school if you don't have a vaccine. They're trying to mandate organ donation. Donate, and at uh, Toronto Sick Kids Hospital, they're trying to mandate process of euthanasia, where they're taking that responsibility away from the parents and allowing the doctor to make the decision of whether your child lives or dies. So you see, these mandatory policies are not for your health. They are about fear and control of the population. So uh, read that article because I talk about some different um, items and things that, that might help, but healthtruth.blog on mandatory policies. And no, again, it's not about vaccines, it's about protecting your rights and freedoms as a human on this free land. So we're in an evolutionary, um, let's see, adults in Quebec attempting to allow us to, yeah, thanks, Tara Lynn. So you see Tara Lynn's comments there are, you know, forced uh, euthanasia in Quebec as well. But we're in an evolutionary growth spurt at the moment um, in the age of Aquarius. So that brings in kind of our brilliant humanitarian service. And many people now are starting to see the bigger picture. They're starting to wake up to a greater agenda and expanded awareness. It's almost like you have to go through that stressful mental disorganization before you get to the other side of kind of being enlightened and um, wanting to give a greater service for our humanity. But there's more and more people that are doing that right now. And I imagine that it's the people that hold the light. This is my intention. The people that hold the light are the ones that are going to be influencing our planet. So pick up your torch. <laughs> and as Joseph Campbell says, you know, you have to lead and live uh, joyfully uh, within the sorrows of the world. Darkness exists in the absence of light. Right? The shadows are made because of the light. So if you're wondering who's going to win this battle of dark and light, it has to be the light. You know, it's without it, nothing exists. And because of it, the shadows and everything else is made. So make sure you are got your ticket and you're on the right bus. You know, the, the vibration bus of um, health and light. And again, I'm referring to that article that I wrote on raising your vibration, and that's healthtruth.blog. And in the little search bar with the uh, magnifying glass, if you go under healthtruth.blog, you will uh, see that article, Raising Your Vibration, because ultimately that's really what it's about. Um, it's using your mind and your energy to push away those things of lower vibration. Now I have any questions before I go on? Always. Thanks, Tara Lynn. Thanks, Craig. Take back your power. Oh, yeah, that's it. Take back your power is one of them, Craig, one of the links. And the other one's called In I N Power. But uh, who was it that sent me that the other day? It was in a group. It was in the Inform Nova Scotia group. And her name is going to come to me in a second. Tara Lynn might know. Uh, but uh, it was another link. I'll try to post that one, too, because it's really good. It gives you opt-out um, applications, if you will, for smart meters and also opt out clauses for vaccines because we are in, in corporations and we're being controlled, but really our rights to our land and our humanity and our earth is outside of those corporations. So if you're employing a lawyer, for example, he's working within that legal um, corporation. So representing yourself and knowing how to represent it well, you take command and control uh, of your life, your surroundings uh, and your environment. So um, this site called In IN Power will yeah empower movement I think that's it Craig uh, has the uh, thank you for that it has the um, opt-out clauses that you can use um, and it could be for smart meters uh, like I said for vaccines or for other things again these mandatory policies are crazy and you don't have to do it so uh, the last thing I'm going to mention here is a um, um, it's an event that's happening this Friday, uh, the 31st in Bedford, and I will post a link or somebody can post a link. If Andrew is watching, you can post a link where we can get tickets and know more information about it. But this is a fundraiser for Vaccine Choice Canada. Now, Vaccine Choice Canada is a group of parents that have vaccine injured kids, and they are going to battle for you. 
they are taking um, this issue of mandatory uh, vaccines to the Supreme Court or the Superior Court in Ontario. But they're a nonprofit group of parents, so they don't have much money. They need our support in order to fight for our kids and our medical freedom. So this event is uh, partly sponsored. Um, you know, part of the proceeds will go to that. Or if you don't feel like coming out to this movie called Vax2, I'll explain that in just a second, uh, you can donate at their website. You could sign up for the newsletter so you're kept aware and abreast of what's happening. Or you can donate at the website and it's Vaccine Choice Canada. Tara Lynn, maybe you could post that, uh, that uh, website to Vaccine Choice Canada. That's uh, great. And uh, the movie, Vax 2, I seen it last week. Thank you. I had a little preview just so I could comment on it. But it's a beautiful movie. It's a thoughtful, compassionate documentary of parents, kids, doctors, giving their stories about vaccines, um, about healthy kids, about vaccine injuries, and it's a must see. It will help you empower yourself and your family to kind of new levels of awareness. Now the media has been giving us a little flack about this because you can imagine anything that's like not totally supportive of the chemical companies are going to be, um, what would we say, challenged by the media. So uh, if you scroll down my page, you'll see I had my warrior sword because Dr. Uh, Robert Strang had said to Global News Halifax that there's no evidence supporting vaccines, uh, you know, have a, a link to autism. And that's not true. So um, I sent Global News Halifax, Dr. Strang, Robert Strang, and I also, he's the chief medical officer, I also sent the same 157 studies that show a link between autism and um, to our health minister, which is uh, Randy uh, Dolores. Uh, and so, um, there's been a bit of controversy, so we need to kind of set the record straight. This is just a documentary where parents are sharing their stories, and if you have a vaccine injured child, part of your healing process, because we don't have a compensation plan any otherwise, part of the healing process is being able to share your story. That's constitutional right of free speech, so I'd ask you to support this uh, event on uh, Friday, a Vaccine 2, or Vax 2 is the name of the movie. I think that was all that I wanted to say about that. And again, it's just connecting with your community to know more and know, you know, we're all a part of a loving community, wanting a healthier next generation, but we have to come together in order to have that happen. Any questions? Oh, Shannon, that's it. So Tim Houston posted about this this morning too. He's disappointed it isn't canceled. So Tim Houston is a, a PC MLA who has put forward one of the mandatory bills here in Nova Scotia. That's Bill 210. So I've communicated with Mr. Houston and sent him all the data. But we have to remember these politicians are being manipulated too, right? Our government's being manipulated by these pharmaceutical companies. Because if you look at the science and the research, um, it's clear. And really, why not just give us the ability to choose? If it's good for us, we'll run up with our arms up waiting for the vaccine. You don't have to mandate, you know, drinking water because it's a healthy service. So, you know, speak please to your MLAs, uh, find the MLAs in your area, especially in New Brunswick right now, uh, which uh, Minister, Health Minister Dominic Cardi has put forward these crazy mandatory bills and Tim Houston here in Nova Scotia, Bill 210. Get out, speak to your MLAs. They are your voice in government. And remember, they work for you. So be empowered, know what your rights are, and uh, take, turn your fear into inspired action. Thanks for that, uh, Shannon. Uh, so anything else, Andrew? Uh, those who yell the yells have most to lose. Yes, sure, that's, that's true, Andrew. And Andrew, can you post the, the link to the uh, video, if you wouldn't mind, uh, to the movie, actually, Vax 2 movie, uh, where you can get tickets, and uh, we'd love to see you there. I'm gonna be there, and I bought tickets for all my family because I really want my family to, to be empowered and to know why I've kind of put them through this uh, journey over the last year or so, giving up my profession and my house and, you know, many of my friends uh, to speak out about this because it's uh, something that's important. Any other questions, comments? Uh, Nova Scotia Legislature. Okay, good. Thanks, Craig. Craig's put that uh, information about the mandatory bill 210 and... Um, Tara Lynn posted the link, Vax2, thank you for that, that's great. So if you're looking for tickets, you can go there and sign up uh, to the Vax2 movie. 
So I would ask you to join my YouTube channel because some of the points that I haven't had time to expand on here in this video uh, or haven't taken the time to expand on, you will find at my YouTube uh, link. So Dina Churchill, I'll see if I can post a link to that. But I've talked about essential oils. I've talked about genetically modified foods. I've talked about mandatory vaccines and policies. I did a, a segment uh, that got a lot of views uh, on uh, the 5G technology because the 5G technology that they're trying to push through right now is a military wave. It's used for military defense. It's a microwave. It will fry your brain. And this is what they're wanting to kind of put the smart meters on the side of your house that acts like a conduit for that. So there's a, a video that I should post uh, about Agenda 2030. Uh, that is really great as well. But um, so to have a bigger picture uh, is important, again, to empower yourself so you know that you, know, you can make smarter choices. So my YouTube channel has some videos. The healthtruth.blog has that latest article on mandatory things. And then it has information on um, the 5G, genetically modified foods, vaccines, all the things that I kind of mentioned briefly, but it goes into detail and will give you references. Because you don't want to believe what I say because I'm wearing a white coat. I want you to research it for yourself. You know, really what I feel like my mission is, is to empower you. And then we create almost like a blockchain, right, of empowered individuals that can take back, um, you know, the ruling and the workings of um, our planet. So thank you for <clears throat> all those who are out there working for a greater good. The light workers keep caring and sharing because uh, we're creating our network. I'd invite you to reach for the stars, envision and achieve your personal best. And most of all, enjoy the journey. This is Dr. Dina Churchill signing out.